<laughs> oh, baby. So while Liana's doing the cavities and the wool, I'm gonna get a head start in cutting some framing strips. Uh, so we're gonna be using half inch plywood. Um, just got it at Home Depot. And we're basically just gonna be cutting it into various lengths or various widths. So for our ceiling, we'll probably use about two and a half inches. Then for other things like our shelving or cabinetry, uh, we'll be cutting it probably around four or six just to make sure that you know our backbone is strong and can reach wherever we actually need supports so got my plywood out measured a bunch of lines just going to be doing a bunch of cutting here We are starting our framing in the van and we're going to have uh, certain areas that we want to use rib nuts because they are going to be a little bit more load bearing. So uh, this upper area, for example, we're going to have our cabinets. So we want um, to make sure that the framing for it is strong so it can carry the weight that's going to be put on it. So. He's gonna install some rib nuts. Yeah, there's a lot to install, that's for sure. So yeah, we're basically gonna be installing a bunch all along this line, all along this line, same thing on the other side, and then all along this line down here. Lots of lines. So we're gonna get a nice pump going. All right. But yeah, I got a little rib nut tool just from Amazon. A lot of these holes are M6 or a quarter inch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get crack lacking. All right, let's do it. Ta da! Nice. And there's one. There's one. And how many of these do you a have lot. to do? A lot. Like estimate. Um, uh, probably like sixty. Jeez. Fifty. All right. I might get a power ahead. tool. Looks like you could unscrew it with that little socket wrench here. All right, we'll see. Let's go. So much faster. It is. It's a little unwieldy, but it works. Pretty How much good. more? 50 more? I don't know. I think Bailey said she's going to take over in a bit. Oh, yeah? Is she? She's going to take over soon? Doesn't look like it. Coming in. Nice. Teamwork. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. That's not gonna... Should I, uh, should I get a tripod? You gonna be there for a while or? <laughs> I said we had like three types of insulation earlier. We have, we just got like every type of insulation mentioned on the internet. We are going to use this low E on um, areas of exposed metal that won't be getting our other types of insulation. More forearm workouts for Liana. So much cutting. My right hand is going to be jacked. <laughs> just right here. <laughs> Get a nice pump. Yeah. <clears throat> we're just talking about how we start in the morning. We're like, good morning. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> it's so true. We've been out here for like, what, eight hours now? No, probably long. Almost or eight hours. No, almost eight hours. At five, it'll be eight hours. It's grumpy here. Yeah, I'm tired, so <laughs> we're calling it. Uh, we got a lot done today. We did most of our insulation, and then Aaron cut a ton of pieces for framing. Um, so I think we'll get a lot more done this week. We're both working full time, but we'll try to get a little bit done at the end of each day, like maybe 30 minutes a day. So 
we'll see how much we get done but we insulated a lot of the nooks and crannies and then we just have these wall panels left on the side um, we're gonna use Havelock wool to insulate those so we're waiting until we get some of the framing up and then we can tuck the wool uh, behind it it'll be easier that way so yeah so we're signing off signing off we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> I ripped off the head of these bolts that will fit into our rib nuts and then just tried to sharpen them with the Dremel, just a little cut off wheel. Um, and this will be used so that we can screw them in to our rib nuts and then smack a piece of wood against it so we know exactly where we need to drill our holes. So I got my pieces of plywood here and these are the ones that I cut down to two and a half inches wide. Um, but I've been test fitting them, you can see my off cuts here to get the perfect length to go across the ceiling of the van. So each one of these two and a half inchers will go on these guys, these little beams. Um, from what I've found, 62 inches long seems to be pretty perfect for all four of the ones that we have. Um, I did find that the rear one is just a tiny bit shorter. Um, so at 62 inches, you still have like a a uh, quarter inch gap on each side, whereas the rest of the three have about a half inch or so on each side. Um, so 62 seems like the perfect middle ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're back at it. It's the next weekend and we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, we started framing and insulate, well, we cut a lot of things for framing, but we started the insulation and we're just gonna continue that. I have no idea how long this is going to take us, so we're just going to keep chipping away at it. Mm -hmm. But you cut a lot of wood. Yeah, cut a bunch wood. of wood off camera. I was kind of just testing a little framing strip here. So I realized that we had the wrong hardware. So we ordered some more. But first, we got to get all this stuff out of the van. Oh no! <laughs> So it starts this way. And then cut to me moving everything. <laughs> so we've got a pretty good system going. Liana's using our sharpened bolts to poke some holes through the low E into the rib nut. And then I'm following it up with the pieces of wood um, that I've already test fit to the rivets. Yeah, so we're making progress. Look around. Got yeah, some got a lot done. So we're gonna do as much as we can today, but I think most of this should be all low eed and framed up. Oh man, low eed. Low eed. Thank you, my favorite part of the day. <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> Monster. Monster energy, zero sugar. <laughs> zero sugar for us pre-pre-diabetic people. Powering van builders all over the country. Globally. <laughs> you good, bro? I think this dude needs some water. Uh, we didn't really record much today, but we got a lot done on our walls for our low E right here and our some of our framing done. Uh, we have a lot more to go, but got a decent amount done, so yeah, proud of that. pretty good. Yeah, just bring you around <laughs> to show you. And then we have some of the bottom done too, but yeah, lots of work to do. It's probably going to take weeks. Weekend. Weekends, the whole month. We'll see. <laughs> all right. We're staying up all night time. No, we're not. We're going to bed. Good night. <laughs> it is raining outside today, so we're not cutting any wood out there. Um, but I decided to use some time to just work more on covering our 
exposed metal with low E. So I've been cutting a bunch of pieces and filling in all of these little chunks here. So that's been a lot of today. Not too exciting because <laughs> I haven't recorded a lot of it. But once all of our exposed metal is covered and it's not raining outside, we can jump back into um, framing out our van. And Erin did uh, start experimenting here a little bit with some of our vertical pieces that we'll put in between um, the horizontal planks. Um, but they're not attached yet. We just have them test fitted. So making progress. And we have little miss over here in the cold. I'll bundle that. <laughs> so now that all the low E's up for this section, we're going to put this board on there. Um, we kind of poked a bunch of holes through the low E where our rib nuts are. So I don't know if you can see it from there, but that'll be a nice place for us to slide our bolt through. So yeah, we can get this board up. It's going to be a little tricky. Which way did this go? I yeah, usually kind of just put them all in loosely first because that makes sure that they all line up decently before you overcommit to them. Oh. Got one in my pocket. <laughs> nice. I don't know where the rest of them are though. Okay, we'll find them. Hi, baby. Oh, baby girl. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet girl. Princess. Yeah. Nice, looks good. Ooh. Any tips or comments? Well, struggles. Some of the struggles that we've had, and it's led to a couple of the rib nuts spinning out, or not spinning out, but just freely spinning and not gripping, is if your bolt kind of sucks some of this aluminum into the threads of it, it makes it really hard to turn, and then it kind of eventually catches, and then you won't be able to turn it, or your rib nut spins out. So. Make sure you poke nice holes for your bolt to go through. You got it, dude. You're doing good. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> oh, baby. For the ceiling, we were originally planning on doing rib nuts. Well, and we did put in rib nuts. So in the two in the center, you have the M6s, and then on the sides, you have the M8s, so we're going to keep the M6s and we're not going to end up using the M8 bolt for the sides. Um, it was kind of like a last minute thing, but we got some M8 bolts in. Their heads are pretty big and so I didn't want to have to countersink like pretty much, what, like a quarter inch of our half inch ply because that'll just weaken it overall. So we're going to walk through the process of what we're doing. Um, I'm going to drill a pilot hole through there, pushing it against the metal frame. We got a hole through there. And then just to countersink the heads of the screws, I just got like a drill bit that's a little larger than the head of it. And I'm putting my drill in reverse so that I'm for sure not going to bite into the wood and drill out an entire hole. So, just like that, then we're just going to throw on our bit for our self-tapping screws, our, ours are just Phillips, and then we'll just drive it into our hole. And voila, 
So it's nice because you got a nice curve. And still gotta do that side. Gotta do that side, gotta remove that M8 bolt, and then gotta do all the other ones. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Time to crunch. <laughs> you okay there? Uh, <sighs> this is hard. Breathe. <laughs> So we're pretty lucky to live with somebody who's got pretty much every tool. But every once in a while, we'll run into something that we do not have. And it's a good opportunity for us to add to our arsenal. So we got a little Craig jig. So it's just going to be for our pocket holes, whether we're making cabinetry or doing stuff like framing where there's no wall supports. How fun. So the pocket holes are pretty straightforward. You just get your piece of wood. You could center it. There's various holes that you could use. Um, but so since this is four inches, and I'm not really too picky on where the holes are, I'm just gonna eyeball center, clamp it down with the side, the nice side that I want facing out. So this is my nice side. And then I'll just take the included drill bit with the stopper. And then when I unclamp it, I'm left with some nice pocket holes. So I'll just repeat that for everywhere that I need it. So ideally with this half inch ply, I think I would use just a one inch pocket hole screw. But uh, what came with my kit is just one and a quarter. So I'm just going to use those. Um, and it also comes with a special bit for it. So this is kind of just like a square. Can't see it on camera, but that's what it looks like. And I can remove this clamp, but I'm going to use that to help me keep all of my joinery flush with each other. And then I'll drive my first pocket screw in. And repeat for the rest of them. Today we are hopefully going to finish the framing on our walls. It has been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we actually finish today. I'll feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, Bailey's not in her spot. We're missing our captain, but she's at a rover today. Yeah. We uh, had some family activities to attend to last night, so we're going to take advantage of it. Not having a needy dog, but we miss him. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do get it. started. these vertical studs up and the plan is to tuck Havelock wool behind them and see if that will kind of hold it in place so we'll see we finished the main framing so we got these on the sides now and over the wheel well we actually forgot to film this outro so we're a little bit past it now but uh, we're gonna wrap up our framing video here. We did a lot for our ceiling and our walls just to get the basic framing in. So 
Uh, pretty excited with the progress we've made so far. And then coming up um, in a future episode, we'll cover more framing for our shower and our bed bump out area, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's coming together. Smells really good in here. Smells like sheep. a combination of sheep <laughs> and wood. It smells like sheep. Um, yeah, but thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe to keep up with the rest of our series. We'll see you on the next one. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Say bye, Bubs. Say bye.